MFM, today we'll be interpreting graphs. So in the given information we have a hyperbola and we have a straight line graph and we're also given two points on the straight line graph of P. So the first question says show that A is equals to negative 1 and Q is equals to positive 2. So A is the gradient of the straight line function and Q is the y-intercept. To find the gradient you need at least two points going through the straight line and we can substitute these two points into the gradient formula and in this particular case the gradient is represented by a so the gradient formula is y a minus y b all over x a minus x b so y a is 4 minus minus 1 all over x a negative 2 minus 3 so this is positive 5 over negative 5 which is equals to negative 1 to find the y-intercept you start by writing the general formula for a straight line that is p of x is equals to ax plus q so we've already found the gradient to be negative 1 so we can substitute this with negative 1. So to find the value of Q or the y-intercept, we need to substitute any one of these two points into the general formula to find the value of Q. So because P of X is a, a function that takes in an input and produces an output, we can substitute these coordinates into the general formula to find the value of Q. So when the output is negative 1, the input should be positive 3. So this is negative 1, should be negative 3 plus Q, therefore negative 1 plus 3 should be equals to q therefore q should be equals to positive 2 so the second question says determine the values of x for which h of x is equals to p of x so h of x is equals to p of x means where the two functions intersect so if we ever look at the sketch they intersect at these two points they are equal so let's write that down algebraically and find the values of x so h of x should equals to p of x so h of x is given as minus 2 over x plus 1 should be equals to minus x plus 2 so i've written h of x in terms of x and i wrote p of x in terms of x because x is what we are looking for we're looking for the x values and we have an x in the denominator, so we would want to get rid of that x. And to get rid of the x in the denominator, we need to multiply throughout with positive x. So I'm going to multiply throughout with positive x. It's minus 2 into x over x plus x is equals to minus x times x plus 2x. So these x's cancel out. So we have minus 2 plus x is equals to minus x squared plus 2x. So now we have a power of 2, so we're dealing with a quadratic um, equation, and that would make sense because we're looking for two points. So let's write this quadratic equation in standard form. Therefore, I'm going to take all the terms containing x on the left-hand side and all the constants on the I'll take all the terms on the left hand side because we should have a zero on one side of the equation. So I'm going to take all the terms on the left hand side. So here we have minus or positive x squared rather. x squared plus x minus 2x minus 2 should equal to zero. Therefore x squared minus x minus 2 should equal to 0. If we factorize the left hand side, we should get x x 
minus 2 plus 1 therefore x should be equal to negative 1 or x should be equal to positive 2 so these solutions seem to be correct because the two functions intersect if x is equal to positive 2 and x is equal to negative 1 so the final question says determine the values of x for which h of x is greater than or equals to p of x so we need to look for regions where h of x is above p of x in other words h of x is greater than p of x so you can see starting from x is equals to negative 1 up this region here h of x is above p of x the green is above the red and the second region is h of x is above p of x starting at this point here where they intersect so this is the second region where h of x is above p of x so we can call this region 1 and region 2 so let's write down the x values for which h of x is above p of x or equals to x or equals to p of x for region 1 for region 1 x must be greater than or equals to negative 1 and x should be strictly smaller than 0 why is 0 not included as a solution because the y-axis is an asymptote to the hyperbola in the second region for where h of x is greater than p of x is when x is greater than or equals to 2 because we need to include the points of intersection